If I could change just one thing about how I learned hacking, it wouldn't be the tools I started with or the first exploit I practiced. It would 150 billion percent be these mindset shifts. So let's get straight into them. Stop hoarding theory. Start actually hacking. When I first got into cybersecurity, I thought the quickest path to getting good was by absorbing every piece of theory I could find. Reading articles, watching endless tutorials, and memorizing as many exploits as I could. I treated it like cramming for an exam, thinking that just knowing the information would automatically make me a hacker. But here's the reality. Hacking isn't about just knowing stuff. It's about doing. Whether it's through hands-on labs, capture the flag exercises, or participating in bug bounty programs. Every failed attempt, every vulnerability you explore, every system you ethically break into sharpens your skills. The goal shouldn't be to rack up hours of theory, but to get through 10,000 hands-on attempts that help you build actual experience. Start thinking of it like building muscle. Consistency and practice are key. You're doing yourself a disservice by not putting in the reps. You're mentally overweight, and that's why your hacking skills aren't growing. I'll be honest, I was even tempted by the cert hoarding trap. Ooh, I got my security plus. Now I want to get my CEH, then this, then that. It's all theory, all multiple choice, all avoiding the real work. It feels tempting to stay in the comfort zone of theory where you can rack up certifications without actually putting your skills to the test. I know, I know. It feels way better finishing a 12 hour master ethical hacking course in your sleep without touching a single VM than actually typing out commands, thinking through solutions and solving challenges. But that's only temporary. When you actually feel your knowledge stacking, your future self will thank you immensely. The good thing about hacking is that there are amazing platforms like Try Hack Me and Hack The Box that make the learning process more like a game. But even then, I can see how easy it is to get caught up in theory and not actually do the real work. So focus on practice. That's how you truly learn to hack. Next mindset shift. Ego is the enemy. A lot of us got into hacking because we saw it in movies. Hacking was that cool thing. Maybe you watched The Matrix, Mr. Robot, or some other movie where the hacker can break into everything and become a cyber god. You thought it was all about hacking social media, breaching NSA, governments, and being a hero, right? But here's the hard truth. Your ego is going to get crushed instantly. When I started, I wanted to jump straight into red teaming, advanced exploit development, and zero days. I didn't want to waste time on basic stuff like network scanning, simple phishing, or privilege escalation, but that was just my ego talking. The best hackers don't skip the basics, they master them. Without understanding the fundamentals, you'll never get to the next level. You want to be a king at bug bounties or advanced exploit techniques? First, understand how to enumerate systems properly, how privilege escalation works, and get comfortable with basic exploits. Those basics will pay dividends later on. Hacking isn't about looking cool, it's about what actually works. Remember, the coolest people are always the ones who can actually do the job. Not just open a black green terminal with courier font and a black hoodie, pretending they are hacking the FBI. You don't want to be those, trust me. Next, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Let's be honest, cybersecurity is one of the most imposter syndrome fields you can get into. You will never know everything, and that's totally normal. There will always be new attacks, new defense techniques, and new exploits to learn. It's endless, and that's why it can feel like you're always chasing your tail. Actually, this is one of the best ways to figure out if hacking and cybersecurity are for you. It filters people out. If you're looking for a stable, repetitive, mechanical job with no surprises or risks, then this isn't the field for you. But if you thrive on continuous learning, adapting to new challenges, and solving problems on the fly, then you're in the right place. The discomfort and uncertainty you feel when running into something you don't understand are exactly what help you grow. And it's something every good hacker embraces. If that sounds like you, then this is 100% your place. Remember, there's no end game, just keep going. Here's the reality check. There is no end game in hacking. You'll never reach a point where you can say, okay, I'm done. I've mastered everything. I'm the ultimate pro hacker. It's not about reaching the top because there is no top. There's always a new tool to learn, a new exploit to discover, a new target to test. I see people asking things like, 
How long will it take to master penetration testing? Or should I focus on mastering web hacking before moving to network pen testing? That's the wrong approach. You can't master a single part of hacking and just stop there. You become a great hacker by blending knowledge from various domains. The most sophisticated exploits, the real zero days, and the hackers who truly stand out are those who can see the intersection of different fields, whether it's networking, cryptography, or reverse engineering, and use that knowledge creatively to solve problems. This is where true innovation happens. The ability to connect seemingly unrelated concepts is where creativity and hacking shines. The real joy comes from the thrill of discovery, the satisfaction of solving a problem, finding a new bug, or exploiting a system in ways you never thought of before. And that's the beauty of cybersecurity. It's not a race to the finish, it's a continuous journey of discovery. So, what have we learned today, guys? If you want to get into hacking the right way, start practicing now. Now, now, now. Open up that VM as you are watching. Run labs, join bug bounty programs, and get hands-on with real systems. It's not about how much you know, it's about what you can actually do with what you know. And if you need guidance, our academy is packed with materials and courses that can help you learn hacking, pass certifications like OSCP, and even make money with bug bounty hunting or cybersecurity jobs. If you're serious about getting good at hacking, join us. We will be here to help you every step of the way. Our community is growing fast and we'll be raising prices every 10 new members. So grab your spot while it's still affordable. Thanks for watching everyone. Good luck.